So it's 2017. And the boys are back in town. Yes, we are. Welcome to the Basement Golf Show. So welcome guys to our new look 2017 yeah. studio. Yeah, looking all right, isn't it? We've got a little wall planner up here so you guys, we can follow what's going on each week. We're going to fill it in, aren't we, with the winners? We've got yeah. a few pictures. Yeah, thumbnails from the past year. Yeah. Some urban golf. That was, great. that was great. We've got to do that again. Yeah, that was good fun. Um, and we've also been, um, what's the word, we've challenged to do a dizzy par five. Yeah. So thanks, Carolina. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. That's going to be fun. The, so, par, the par three was was just oh, bearable. It's high but enough. Trying to hit driver with it mm. should be fun. So latest golf news. Yeah. Rory so, McIlroy. Yeah. So there's been some images on social media this week of Rory's apparent Callaway irons. Mm. Now it hasn't been confirmed yet. Yeah. But if they are what they are, then they look Yeah, they look nice and it'll be interesting to see yeah, if they go yeah. in the bag. He's he's rumoured to be going definitely driver. Yeah, driver, irons with Callaway, yeah. wedges with, with Titleist, um the Titleist ball, yeah. Odyssey and, putter. Yeah. So which is the odd the one for one. me. But we shall so see. We won't know anything until he tees it up, probably in Dubai. But or the only Abu thing, Dhabi. obviously with his putting coach now, he's now Odyssey, isn't he? So, mm. so we shall see. We shall see. We, we never. We love this time you see. Rory, time if you'd like to comment below and tell us all, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, <laughs> exclusive. Um, that's not the only news, though, is it? Tiger Woods has announced when he's next going to be playing. He's going to be back right here. Right here. So Farmers Insurance Open indeed. at the end of January. Around one of his favourite courses. Yeah. Yeah. Tory Pines. It is a stunning course. Is you played it? Yeah, I have played it. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Mm. Nice, nice time of year for him. Get mm. it in there, get a little little tournament under his belt. There's mm. rumours that he might be heading out to Asia afterwards mm. to play in some tournaments out there. But we, again, nothing's confirmed. Yep, nothing confirmed. Soon too. as we know, we'll let you guys know. Also, this time of year, everyone's switching manufacturers, a few new bits in the bag, yeah, etc. Et so Jason Day. Yeah, Jason Day's obviously got his new kit on. Yeah, got his night gear. Um, I'm sure. Yeah. That was a lovely deal. Well, there was rumours again that he might be playing their clubs before they... Yeah, I, was, I did hear the rumour like everything was booked for him to, mm. to go and switch to everything. But yeah. then obviously... That didn't happen because they're no. not making clubs anymore. But, no. more Callaway news. Mm. Yeah, friend of the show as friend always. Show. Daniel Berger has moved to Callaway. He's mm -hmm. gone full Callaway apparel and clubs. Mm. Um, and we, great talent, isn't he? We well, just, yeah, he like, I would have said if he had... Oh, look out! The new studio's what? falling apart. Um, if he hadn't have got injured at the end of the year, I think he would have played Ryder Cup. Yeah, it was close, wasn't he? He was so yeah. close to it. Yeah. Um, he probably going to be in the next Ryder Cup team. Yeah, I would have said so. Like, he it seems to be very consistent all the way through. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well done to him. And obviously, Lydia Ko going to PXG. Yes. So PXG have announced that they're going to be focusing on LPJ Tour this year. Mm -hmm. um, they reckon that the LPJ Tour's got a bigger global footprint. Than the PGA Tour. Okay. They've signed a couple of other stars. Can't think of the names off the top of my head. They've got some juniors on their books that are pushing through as well. Um, that sounds like they're giving it a good go, though. It is. Any like we said before, any manufacturer that wants to give it a go in this game is yeah. great because so many hardware companies are giving up. Yeah. As we saw with Nike yeah. and obviously with Hogan this week, announcing that they're going to yeah. be they're getting rid of all their manufacturing staff, go back to basics. They're still going to make clubs, but they're just going to go back to basics have as few staff as possible and try and build their brand again. It, yeah. It's tough, it's a tough game out there. If, it you, is. if you're not selling clothing or a popular golf ball, yeah. not looking at anyone in particular, the well, hardware the, game... brands are available. The hardware <laughs> game is tough, very it is, tough. It is, it is. So moving on to tour. Mm. And a PXG player doing very well. Yes, yes. So it's SBS Tournament of Champions, isn't it? Yeah. Down there in beautiful Hawaii. With a Kapalua plantation. Indeed. Um, if you haven't seen the preview show on Wednesday, we made our selections. Um, I went for Jason Day. Hey. Yeah, I know, hey. I know, I know. And Jimmy Walker for you, Adam. He is sitting there pretty. Um, so we're recording this. Obviously, it's very late at night mm. in the UK. This, yeah, this so has it been doesn't broadcast. come on. Yeah, it doesn't come on until about eleven thirty. No. 
So, as dedicated as we are to this channel, I'm we're not, not going to stay up morning. <laughs> not to see. Um, you've got busy plans on Sunday. Yeah. You've got lots of travelling to do. Indeed. Um, for one of his goals that you'll see in yeah. our goals video this week, yeah. um, we're not giving any secrets away because the person might watch this video before you actually get to see them. Yeah, they could possibly. <laughs> um, so, Jimmy Walker is 11 under, one shot back with yeah. two rounds to go. Jason mm. Day is 7 under with two rounds to go. Um, and again, as always, the scoring is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's just so 30 under par won it last year, didn't it? Was it? I think it was, I think it was something stupid, yeah. wasn't it? Um, and again, you can see that it is possible. Yeah. Patrick Reeves like, had it round in 8 under second round. We've yeah. had Ryan Moore at 6 under. Justin Thomas had it at 6 under. They both had two rounds of 6 under, aren't they, Thomas and Moore? Yeah. So just it like, is... We well, sh yeah. It's just going to go crazy. Yeah. Although, like, I know it's the grass out there, but the greens looked a bit... Look the best, did they? Didn't look the best, but obviously they are obviously, yeah, they're they're obviously well. putting very yeah. well. So if you didn't see our predictions, we've both put some money in a pot. Mm. That won't necessarily come into fruition until next week's show, will it? No. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a new monetized system for our picks, um, and we'll yeah follow us on that journey. We're yeah. going to start with twenty pounds each. I'm not looking good for this week, um, and you might just take it all. We might see. get a top ten out of it. We might do. We might do. Right. Yeah. It's still a long way to go in that tournament. It's a long way to go in that tournament. Yeah, there's, they're, they're and if anybody's capable of going low for two rounds, it's Jason Day. Well, yeah, definitely. They're, it's just tournament champions. It's the best players in the world. They're yeah. all there, um, and it's going to be a great finish. So, yeah. Yeah. so comment below, guys. See if there's if there's somebody in that list that you think no, you two are wrong. No, they're going to win. They're going to win. Then tell us. Yeah. Tell definitely. us who you who you think. Come on, Ben, you're always good at this sort of stuff. Let's mm. chip in, Ben. Um, and I think that just about wraps us up, doesn't it? It does, yep. So no European Tour this week. They are back... Next week, aren't they? Right there. What is it next week? It is the BMW South African Open. Ah, lovely. Is that Johanna? Is it? Is it? No. Oh, Guateng, somewhere like that. Anyway, we'll do our research. We'll find out where you it pronounce is. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out a bit more about that tournament next week. No yeah. point worrying about it just yet, because nope. it's a week to go. And we will see you on a new schedule. Yes. So, so tune in on Monday night for our coaching um, segment. Segment. Yeah. Um, this week we'll just be keeping it nice and simple, something that's going to really help you in the forthcoming season. Indeed. And Tuesday night will be our usual Tour V Small. So obviously we've had some classic Tour V Smalls, including the Urban Golf, which we loved yeah. and we'll definitely do again. Definitely. Um, interesting one this week. Going to be coming up on there. Mm. And then... We have the preview show, so previewing the two tournaments for next week, our predictions with our jar of money, yeah. and see if some of us are taking money out of it, putting money in, into it, or just taking a little bit of money. Exactly, and then as always, we'll be here on a Sunday for you guys with the Basement Golf Show, weekly roundup of the news, what's going on in the world of golf. And anything we've found on social media. Indeed, and always our tournament predictions, and whether we're happy or unhappy with those so thank you so so much for watching guys yes as always please click the subscribe button the sides will have you some other videos that hopefully might take your interest if you haven't seen us before if you'd like to like it comment below share it round would be most appreciated thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you soon thanks a lot bye bye